Remember back when we were banned from seeing our loved ones in the hospitals or going to church? Many people were denied the ability to see their loved ones as they passed away alone in hospitals. Pastors were arrested. Of course, you could still protest and riot as long as it was in service of the Democrat Party agenda. If you protested against Democrats, well then you were killing grandma. Now we have monkeypox. And for some strange reason, the government's no longer interested in locking down anything or telling people what they can or can't do. This has been rapidly changing uh, over the last couple of months and we're meeting the moment uh, at, at, every, at every turn. So is there a specific message for the LGBTQ oh, community? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Look, um, you know, this is a, this is a time that, that um, yeah, we understand how the community feels. It's very concerning. Uh, and I want to be really careful because I, it's important that we don't uh, stigmatize any community. Excuse me. What? I got a crazy idea. How about you ask these people to stop taking part in activities that are actively spreading this virus? You certainly had no problems telling religious people that they couldn't worship in their churches or telling family members that they couldn't see their loved ones who were dying in hospitals. But apparently telling people not to attend orgy festivals is out of bounds. It's very concerning. Uh, and I want to be really careful because I, it's important that we don't uh, stigmatize any community. Translation, we can't speak openly and honestly about this very serious virus that has now been declared a national emergency because it's heresy to say so within our ideological cult. We are literally willing to risk further spread so as to not hurt the feelings of our protected class. And so, um, and so that is also important for us. Look, the president's going to do everything that he can uh, to make sure that we end this outbreak. By everything, you mean not even the most basic thing that we were all subject to just yesterday because you're afraid of the far left mob backlash. I am amazed at the question that came next. Nothing even came close to this question from anyone else in this pathetic excuse for a press pool. If you are a member of an uh, at-risk uh, community, and you're unable to get a vaccine right now, which again, we're hearing stories of that, is the federal government's recommendation that you pause or at least reduce sexual activity until you can get vaccinated? No. No. No, no not that one, no. Okay, well, that seems like a totally reasonable course of action, given that we know how this virus spreads and which community it's spreading in, and especially given the precedent set during the COVID lockdowns, right? Right? What I will say is you should talk to your medical provider. I am not a medical provider, but I would say talk to your medical provider uh, and uh, get, uh, uh, get the information that you need so that you are protecting yourself and you know how to move forward. <laughs> You got that? If you're an LGBTQ plus ampersand divided by sign minus symbol and you have plans to go to an orgy festival, just ask your doctor. All right, folks, that's it for that one. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe and make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Have a great weekend. See you on the next one.